Hello and welcome back to Vampire. My name is Emma and this is Once Upon a Quest. Last episode, we explored the theatre. We met Doris Fletcher, found out that she was actually infecting people in her audience. And that was spreading this kind of contagion that was creating other scowls and things. And yeah, and then we... So what we're doing now is we're going to go back to the Ascalon Club and talk to... What's his name? Lord Redgrave to ask for some protection against the vampire hunters in the Great Hunt because McCullum, who's like the leader of the pre one vampires, showed up at the theater and basically threatened us. And yeah, so he was like, I'll let you go this once, but watch your back type thing. So we're going to be watching our back from him, I guess. So that's what we're going to do this episode. And we also leveled up. We are now level 29. And so we're going to head back to the West End, I think, because this doesn't seem to be much else to do in this area. So I think we're just going to go and report to Lord Redgrave um, in the Ascalon Club about Darce Fletcher and see if he can help us against the vampire hunters. OK, so we're back in the Ascalon Club. We're going to report back. Oh, Elizabeth. I didn't Elizabeth, think she was allowed here. What are you doing here? I've been formally asked to witness your triumph, my dear. After all, isn't it the natural role of a woman to support her man in victory? But it's you who insisted I join the Ascalon. Please forgive my giddiness. I'm just overcome by the thrill of finally being allowed within these hallowed halls. Mm. You certainly have an inquisitive mind. It's quite something. Elizabeth Ashbury, only you can make me smile in these difficult times. And the same to you, Jonathan Reed. Now go have your little chat I'll with the stop chairman. you too. I can see he's practically bursting to hear your report. Okay, okay. I will. I'll go talk to him right now. Lord Hambly, Lord Redgrave. Oh, there he is. Welcome back to the Ascalon Club, Lance Bearer. Please tell us the good news. Have you put an end to the epidemic? My hypothesis was correct. I'm not sure about Doris that Fletcher now. Doris Fletcher was the source of the contagion in this part of town. She was probably the first to be infected. And you cleansed her before the hunters, I've been told. Well done, Dr. Reed. You thrust your lance and pierced the very heart of the corruption. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be that simple, though, is it? But some questions remain. There's got to the be other people thing is, like Darius. We won a major battle for the survival of London. For that, we salute you. Thank you, my lord. Now, I have another task for you. One of the utmost importance. Perhaps even more so than the previous. I'm listening. It's time for you to perform a most sacred duty for the club. Oh, what I is this going to be? I want you to recruit a new vampire. Recruit like, a new vampire? Create one or recruit one? Are you sending me on some sort of diplomatic mission? Not exactly. I want you to make Aloysius Dawson the Econ he deserves to be. Oh. So he's one of the only non-vampire people in the club. Okay, sure. As Why not? you wish, <laughs> my lord. Good. Now go. How would you like me to proceed? Aloysius is waiting for you at the Does Dawson he want estate. to be one, though? Once the deed is done, I'll join you there to celebrate this momentous occasion. Aha. Uh -huh. I have some questions. Before I go, I have a few questions. All right. I can't remember if he wanted to be a vampire or not. Uh, why Aloysius Dawson? You have Lady Ashbury? Why Aloysius? Why Aloysius Dawson? Because he is about to die. And he just may be oh. the most influential man in England. After me, of course. I see. Does he know I'm coming? Does he know I'm coming? He can't wait to become your progeny, Dr. Reed. Especially now that you have shown how strong your lineage is through your sister. Mm, still don't know how I created my sister as a vampire, though, because we didn't feed her my blood, so I don't understand. Did he choose me? Did he choose me? Sounds no, like... I did. 
Oh. My decision is very recent, to say the least, but it is entirely mine. Hmm. Did we... I feel like when we talked to him before Aloysius Dawson, I don't remember... Did we ask him about why he isn't a vampire? I don't know. You invited Lady Asprey. Wouldn't that be breaking one of your cardinal rules? Mm -hmm. No women mm -hmm. allowed. Not allowed as members, no. But considering the circumstances, I thought you'd like to have her here to witness your triumph. So it's a temporary admittance, then. Something of a bargain, considering the crisis we're currently facing. I mean, you'd be lucky to have her, like. How would you like me to proceed? Don't worry. Aloysius has had many years to prepare himself. He has studied our kind for decades. Okay, yeah. I just give him my blood. So shall I just let him drink him? my blood? Yes. Or, how does that work? Aloysius will gratefully sup on your blood. His heart will slow, then stop. But he will rise again as one of us, an immortal. Is there any danger? Our blood alters a mortal body so deeply that some don't survive the metamorphosis. They die for good. Ew. But Mr. Dawson has been preparing himself for a long time. Okay, how, d how, do how does one prepare themselves Goodbye, for this Lord metamorphosis? Frederick. Okay, so we can go turn Aloysius into a vampire. This would be fun. So where is he anyway? Is he um? Is he in this building somewhere, or is he at his own house? Or are you all right, Jonathan? Lord Redgrave has just ordered me to turn Aloysius Dawson, to make him my progeny. I see. And how do you feel about this? Fine. I feel fine. He'll be a very handy resource. Aloysius Dawson is the richest man in England. He'll be a very useful resource for the club. The real question here is, why has his lordship given you this task? Do you think I have it's some strong sort of blood. Do you really want to know what I think about this? I do, yes. To make an immortal of a soulless blackguard like Aloysius Dawson will only lead to a disaster for London. The man is already dead inside. Should I refuse? Perhaps politely suggest that Lord Redgrave turn the man into a vampire himself. Don't you dare, my dear. According to what I've recently discovered, his lordship could kill you for even broaching the subject. Really? Why? I've recently found proof that the Earl of Bristol is of lesser lineage and only capable of creating skulls. Oh, really? Now that's interesting. Please tell me more about your recent investigation. As long as you lower your voice. So, the head of the club can't create better vampires than just skulls. But I can. Ooh, because I'm, I've got good blood, you know? Wow, wow, wow. Okay, about making Aloysius Dawson and Econ. Advice about Aloysius Dawson. About Lord Redgrave. Yeah, let's find out more about Aloysius. What would you have me do about Dawson? The man is dangerous. Did you know he plans to build a wall to separate oh, yeah. the healthy rich from the sickly poor? I forgot about that. Do not yeah. make him your progeny. What would you do? The man's dying already. Let the reaper harvest the rotten fruit that is his soul. Okay. What would happen if I made Dawson an Econ like myself? You would add a powerful immortal into a suffering world. An immortal who already craves authority. Maybe I could teach him control, like you taught me. Lead him down the right path. Mr. Dawson spent his life Probably searching not. for a way to cheat death. I'm sure he has spent decades dreaming of how he'd spend eternity as a tyrant. Mm. Are you sure your information about Redgrave is correct? He says he's the progeny of the great knight William Marshall, who lived some nine centuries ago. That's a lie. Lord Redgrave is unable to create anything but skulls, if the poor soul survive at all. Oh, so he's been lying about his lineage? 
Yeah, how would you know this? How can you be sure the information was correct? I made the acquaintance of a most interesting informer while investigating your maker, from whom I learned the truth about Lord Redgrave. Mm hmm. Who is that? I don't think it's vindictive at all. That's interesting. Goodbye for now, Elizabeth. Goodbye, my dear. Interesting. Please be careful. Okay, so she doesn't want us to turn Aloysius. Where does he live? Down here? Um, reach Temple Church entrance. Yeah, so she reckons... It looks like vampires have to obey in. Mendel's we laws when producing progeny. Anymore. Powers pass from one generation to another. That's why Dawson wants me to sire him. So if I sire him, I'll make him... Will I make him a super powerful vampire? Is that, is that what's going to happen? Ooh. Blood trail. Rogue scar. Hmm, I don't have any blood. I need some blood. More braille. I should bring this to Mason Swanborough. Yay. Cool. Nice one. Hmm. So we should be nearby uh, this dude's house. I really need some blood. I cannot enter. Oh. I should find another way to get into the neighborhood. Okay, can't get in that way. Find a passage to get into the quarantine stockade, or past the quarantine. Um, oh, there's so much blood up here. Where's that? Thirst for blood. Okay, maybe this is how we get through. There has been a Ooh. fight here. I can see a blood trail. Left by one of the antagonists, perhaps? Ooh, so we're following some... Ooh, bloody footprints. Is this even to do with finding a passage, or is this some other quest? a different investigation. Mm. Is this the way I'm supposed to be going? This way? What a mess. Something terrible happened here. But what? Something terrible happened here. I don't see any more certain thing. Hmm. So this is just... Hmm. Not sure where I'm going. Okay. Looks like this could be a secret entrance or is it just a dead end oh oh i found the letter from my father yes oh i was looking for this last um the last time and i couldn't find it anywhere okay aubrey reads second letter my dear son this is my second letter for you if you find this one it means you'll probably have shown the first part to your sister mary and to my dear emmeline i think it's a good thing you don't keep 
you, I think it's a good thing you don't keep to yourself what you discover, but I leave that for you to decide. Do you remember our long walks in this park? Your mother taught you your alphabet under these trees. I hid so many wonderful treasures for you and Mary in this park. You were both so clever, so brilliant. I've always known you'd both become great people. I've always been proud of you. I was never able to conceal my pride when I was asked what you wanted to be. He'll be whatever he wants. Your mother was convinced you would be a great you would be a great an artist like her. You always like to read and write. I still keep your very first poem, like I keep Mary's first drawing. When you chose to follow medical studies, your mother was sagacious enough to do, to cover her trepidations and her worries. Me, I was happy you did not become a dull banker like me. Oh, that's so he was a banker. When you told us you wanted to pursue a career in medicine, there's so many mistakes in this letter, a carrier in medicine, to improve life for all without consideration of wealth. I knew we, as your parents, had taught you the most important lesson of all, to respect each and every soul for what they are, not what they have been, or, oh my God, to respect each and every soul for what they are, not what they have. If you want to know more, all you have to do is to remember which hospital you chose to apply for your first internship. I am, as ever, your loving father, Aubrey Reed. Is that the Pembroke Hospital? I had almost forgotten I applied for a position at Pembroke. Mm. It was so long ago. Hey, so the next clue for my father is going to be in the hospital somewhere. Where, though? Hmm. Somewhere in the hospital. I think this passage could lead me close to Aloysius Dawson's mansion. What passage? Or maybe it's down in the sewers where we went last episode. Now, there you go. I think we're going down here, which we did last episode when I was looking for my father's letter. I went down into this um, underground area and we fought a boss who was a Volkod called Leon Augustin. So he should still be dead unless he unless there's some some new baddie down here to fight. But yeah, um. Yeah, so maybe, I mean, because I was down here and it, there was a gate that was locked. So unless that's unlocked itself now that I've got this far in the quest, maybe. Oh, there is something down there. Ah, I walked into the thing. There is a big thing down there. What is that? Ill-formed beast. Okay. So an exploding werewolfy thing. Okay. There we go. He exploded. <laughs> oh, there's a dead body up there. Okay, can I... Anything else? Down here. Okay, so we can go this way. Also, there's a body up there. Can I get there? No. I cannot enter. Okay, well, we can go this way. That's the, the, that's where the body was, I think. I go. Ah, why can't I go up here? Um, here. 
This is what I was saying. Whoever this guy is. Soiled letter. My name is Robert Teasdale. To whoever may find this message, please try to help me. My daughter Louise disappeared a few weeks ago. She was seen for the last time in a bar in the neighbourhood. Not the one where she works as a waitress, but another one. The Dancing Trout. Two witnesses saw her leave the place with an elegant and unknown man. Maybe a foreigner. There are many rumours of men and women vanishing in the area. I, I am convinced my Louise has been abducted and is kept somewhere nearby. I know the police will not help for they ha already have more important things to do. So I have decided to look for my Louise by myself. If you find this letter, it means I failed saving her. My Louise is a good girl who does not deserve to die like this. She is of medium size with dark hair and a scar on her right cheek. Please search for her and finish this work for me. God bless you. Louise's father was determined to find and save her. Hmm. So I wonder what happened to this Louise person and who abducted her slash who did she abscond with? Is this another dead end? Yeah. Okay, so this looks like we've got into this side of town now and... We need to follow the passage to reach Alois's mansion. And then I guess we decide whether or not we're going to turn him. It's locked, all right. Okay. Oh, yes. We've got spinny wheels. We had a similar... What's that doing? Okay, that raises up that bridge. And what does this do? Oh. That raise, oh, it's raising the water level and everything. Oh, what does this do? Oh, that puts it down. Okay. Okay, well, let's see what else is up here before we go down there. I cannot enter. Okay, we'll try this. Oh, wait, I put it down. Okay, let's bring it up. Oh, that's bringing it up all the way. Okay, that unlocked this door. Okay. And that brings us here. That's just bringing us back around. Whoa. Ah. And I jumped by a bunch of scowls. We got it, we got it, we got it. trying to parry it. Didn't work. Now, get some blood off these guys. Okay. We got it, we got it. Where did they even come from? They just kind of appeared. Do they fall down from up there? Do they jump down from up there or something? Maybe. Anyway, this brings us here. Oh, I see. I think we need to undo the water level. Is that as far down as it goes? And then we need to go down. Here. And 
then where do we go? We jump over there? Yeah. This way. Loot this box. Oh, there's loads of rats over there. Oh. Are we finding Louise? Where is she? Got him. I don't know why I can't lock onto this guy. It's really weird not being locked onto him. Ah, keep spinning around. Oh, I don't like this. I'm getting dizzy. What's going on? What am I? Uh, it's like as if I'm locked onto the totally different thing in the wrong direction. It's so weird. Okay, this is so strange that I can't lock onto him. Cannot see what I'm doing. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay, I literally can't see anything. really weird okay let's read his diary recent diary where is that okay i've just arrived in london after a grueling journey from manchester the city is sad and despaired i will it will not be difficult to find a woman willing to escape death here i cannot wait to start my research soon i won't be a virgin anymore cell is ready all i must do now is find the appropriate candidate and bring her in she will be beautiful and gentle with a nice temper i've already tested my persuasion ability on a few women and it worked most of the time but I don't want my future bride to be submissive. I will only use my power to bring her here. Then I'll tell her what I intend to do and let her accept. This is important. I want my lady to willingly accept to become my, my wife for eternity. I think I have found the perfect match. Her name is Louise. She was a waitress in a public house and she's quite charming. I love her attitude when serving drink in that bar. Tough and proud. I'm sure she will accept my offer. Once she is mine, once the vampire blood will have achieved her metamorphosis her face shall heal properly and her scars will disappear then she will be the perfect beauty i'm the only one to see right now i don't understand louise refuses my proposition why would she i promised her i would never force her into anything i may let her starve a little then she'll understand i'm her only option oh god oh, that's so dark poor louise oh i wonder has he tried this with many other people it's okay. I'm letting you out, Louise. Miss Teasdale, are you all right? How do you know my name? Who are you? My name is Dr. Reed. I managed to track you down thanks to your father. So my father really was looking after me. This man, this vampire told me my father was dead. Is it true? I'm afraid yeah. so, miss. I'm so sorry for your loss. Mm. But you are free to go. As your abductor is no more. I suppose my jailer also killed my father, didn't he? Thankfully, Probably. he did not search your father's corpse, where I found his notes describing where he might find you. You should read them. I must find my father's body. He deserves a proper burial. Oh, I can cure you. Can I cure you? No. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale, and be careful until we meet again okay be safe going home from here it's quite dangerous must be up here but it's closed off oh I can go through here this is it
So this is going to bring us up at this guy's mansion, hopefully. Or just outside it. Okay, so this is Temple Church. New area. So I guess we just explore a little bit. Oh, is this a church? Oh. There's lots of people here. Hello, who are you? Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here? Just lay down. I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are and why all the questions? I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. Oh. And I don't find your answers convincing. What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? Oh, you know. <laughs> I could just tell him I work for the Ascalon Club. Uh, I'm on my own. I'm here on my own, sir. I have no official appointment other than my desire to save lives. Then we have the same objective, sir. The difference is, to catch my suspects, I use a magnifying glass and handcuffs instead of a microscope. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, yeah, what is your investigation about? What are you about? investigating, exactly? I currently have a few missing persons cases. Oh. Mr. Tadao Kamura and Miss Louise Teasdale. I'm afraid uh, they may have been abducted Louise. by my mysterious maniac. Found Louise. Um, don't know who the other person Tell is. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Her father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she could be? Found no, her already. But I feel she's been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago and vanished. I thought about the sewers, but I'm not equipped for such an investigation. Um, he's got fatigue. Tell me about Mr. Who's Kimura? the other person? Mr. Kimura is a businessman who has been missing for a few days. He didn't go home, didn't go to work, didn't go back to his family. Where was he last seen? Mr. Kimura was last seen at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. I followed a possible lead in the West End, but I found nothing. Hey, can we tell him that we found the girl already? Tell me about the neighborhood. What do you really do here? Why are you investigating at night? Why are you investigating at night? Criminals rarely act in daylight, you know. But since you are also a night worker, have you noticed anything strange which requires police attention? Oh, yeah, just loads of vampires. Um, I'd like to report Jeffrey McCallum. Oh, do you know Fergal Bancha? I've noticed nothing on I can report McCallum. I'd like to report a name, Inspector. Jeffrey McCullum. I'm afraid he's some sort of vigilante trying to recruit an army of angry citizens. Then I'll write the name down and transmit this intelligence to the appropriate office. Thank <laughs> nice. You, sir. We'll get McCallum in a little bit of shit. That'll be fun. Okay, what do you What really are you do really here? doing here? I told you. I'm a detective inspector from Scotland Yard, investigating suspicious cases in the area. Yeah, yeah, I believe him. Okay, do you work alone? Do you work alone? Yes. The situation is difficult for the police. Hmm. Many of us are sick, and since the summer strike, most men apply a work to rule on their patrols. Okay, what about the East End? What about the situation in the East End? Why are there no police there to protect the civilians? I know, it's a shame, but we just don't have enough men to cover the entire city. Yeah, probably because they keep getting eaten by vampires. Uh, tell me about the neighborhood. What can you tell me about this district? I'm the one asking questions, especially when oh. there's a killer on the loose. Is that how it's going to be? And what about the epidemic? We both know the situation is critical, don't we, Doctor? Colleagues of mine die almost every day. What killer? I'm not going to discuss that with the civilians, sir. Haven't I told you about the investigation I'm conducting? Perhaps I could help you. All right, without yeah, like, leaving you too much information, <laughs> I'll tell you this. Louise already. 
I'm convinced there is a homicidal maniac on the loose, using the epidemic to disguise his kills. Oh, well, there is a homicidal serial killer over in the docks area as well, isn't there? There's Seymour. Seymour, whatever his name is. Okay, let's ask him about Aloysius. Do you know anything in particular about a man called Aloysius Dawson? Who doesn't know the man? I think he intervened personally to put an end to the police strike of last August. What else can you tell me about him? Aloysius Dawson is exactly the kind of powerful and influential man who could commit murder and get away with it. With just one phone call. Hmm. Uh, uh, tell me about the homicidal maniac. Tell me all you know about that homicidal maniac you're looking for. I'm not even sure there is only one. The wounds are always the same, but the modus operandi varies. Sometimes violent and brutal. Sometimes precise and swift. How could different killers inflict the same wounds? That's my main problem. If my theory is correct, maybe we're facing a group of individuals sharing the same violent tendencies. Perhaps a sadist cult. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. I was... Like you're Do you him? need medical attention, Inspector? I'm afraid I may have caught something. I don't feel too well. Okay, we'll give you some medicine. You quickly feel better after taking this. Thank you, Dr. Reed. I really appreciate it. No problem. Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Can I not Goodbye, <laughs> Dr. Jonathan tell him about Reed. the girl that I found? I'm sure we'll talk again soon. He's looking for her and I found her and I just like haven't told him. That's funny. Who are you guys? You look the same. Oh my god, they are the same. Hold on a minute. Look at this. They're twins. They're doing the exact same movements. It's like some weird kind of synchronized dance routine. What are you doing? Why do you look the exact same? Good evening, sir. I am Dr. Jonathan Reed. It's two do of them. Do you need my help? Yes, please. Would you be kind enough to tell me what the time is? That's all you need to know. Well, is it not important to know? There's two of them, though. It's so weird. As important as where you are? Or who you are? I suppose you're right. Mm. And who are you then, sir? I am Agamemnon Baker. Like my brother, I think we brother. need to leave this city immediately. Ugh. And my brother and I rarely agree on anything. Twins? Oh, Lord. Okay. Personal questions. Nope. No hints yet. Okay. Life in London. What are you doing here? May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You must have your own ideas. From what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. Waiting for someone to come. Who are you waiting for? What? Per per Pericles? May I ask why you've not gone already if you're so exasperated by this long wait? I believe fear is holding us back. My brother would have said it's laziness, but it's just because he's prouder than I am. Mm -hmm. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately, it's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? Uh, no, I'm dead. No, I'm, I'm a vampire. Good for you. It's a good thing to have a clear idea of where you stand concerning crucial questions, don't you think? Sure, tell me about your brother. What can you tell me about your is brother? Is he any stranger he than you? Than me, I think. But the important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief would just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles is very attached to this city, Pericles. and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see? Pericles, what a name. Okay, do you know what Aloysius? can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? You should ask that question to my brother instead. Personally, I've not seen Aloysius this for many guy. years. This guy, why am I even talking to you? All of your answers are, talk to my brother. Yes, who are you waiting for? Who are you waiting for exactly? The more I think about it, the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be then? I don't know. What are they doing? A feeling, an event, an impulse. 
How can I tell? Something that would allow us to leave this trap. Trap? I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? That you are not in your place? That sort of trap. And why can't you just leave? Trap? And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives mankind. Okay, so I guess I should talk to your Goodbye brother now, now instead. <laughs> okay, hopefully he's more helpful. Are you more helpful? Oh, wait. I can spy on them? They're doing the thing where I can spy on them, but... Where can I go? Where can I go to spy on them? There's usually a place. Where are they off to? I could spy them from here. Oh, they're going to meet someone. Can I spy? Can I spy? Ah! Why can't I spy yet? Yes, here we go. We should be far from town already. All right, but where would we go? Anywhere, anywhere that isn't here. And what is that, by the way? A safer place? A less strange place? And where would that be? Life is strange and we are alive. For now, yes, but for how long? If we decided to flee, we should be far from town already. All right. But where would we go? They're so weird. They're so strange. Okay, they want to leave the city because they feel something's weird about the situation. Can I talk to the other brother now? A bloody, a bloody, uh, imprint. Oh, it's a rash. Okay, hang on. I need to talk to the other brother now, this guy. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I be of assistance? Dr. Reed? Dr. Reed? Is there anything wrong? No, it's just your name sounds familiar. And your face. Have we met before? I think I would remember. Who is this? So Who I are suppose these the answer is no. That's odd. I'm certain I've already heard of you. My name is Pericles Baker. Does that mean anything to you? I'm afraid not, sir. No. But it's a pleasure to meet you anyway. Hmm, the pleasure is mine, I guess. I only wish I could remember when it was that we met. This is really weird. Hmm, yeah, who are you waiting for? Who are you waiting for? I'm sure he has a name. I really can't answer that question, since I don't know that person. And why is that? This person is mostly my brother's acquaintance. I don't even know his real name. Only that this man could help us leave this city once and for all. But why would you need this person's help to leave London anyway? Well, I thought we should have left this cursed place already, but my brother convinced me to stay a while longer. And here we are. <laughs> okay, uh, tell me about your weird feelings. Tell me more about your strange feelings towards the city. I would be happy to describe them, but it's too hard to explain with mere words what I'm feeling. It's unclear, too confused. Go on, please. Where should I start? The world is chaos. Men go mad and nature itself runs roughshod over us all. This is not the first time mankind has faced a deadly epidemic or a war. Men kill each other while nature decides to kill them all. I don't know what scares me the most. Do you? Hmm. Uh, the madness of men is more scary, Plagues and epidemics can be seen as an implacable force, a curse even. But the ferocity of mankind worries me more, for we choose what we do. Yes, at least nature is not aware of all the suffering she brings to us. At least that's what I am hoping. Hey, these people are so strange. They're just Tell so me about weird. Yourself, 
Mr. Baker. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? We are waiting. Waiting for someone. And why are you waiting for this person? Because we need to leave this city as soon as possible. Why do you want to leave the city? I'm not really about? sure. Like, it feels like they're waiting for a big event. Like they're waiting for, you know, the, the weird entity that we've met before, like possibly my maker or the weird entity that was like, oh, you're my champion. It feels like it's something big like that. And what do you do, sir? For a living, that is. I stopped working when I decided to leave. When I realized what I wanted. Wanted something this city can't provide. But what were you doing before you took this decision? Does it really matter anymore? Considering the past seems so pointless to me. I have lived in this city all my life. And now I think it's over. Okay, why do you want to leave London Tell then? Tell me more about why you want to leave London then. I just don't belong here anymore. I had to convince my brother to leave London because I know we need to find another life out of the city. Okay. Um. Oh, about your argument. Heracles, tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is naive sometimes. Agamemnon. Although don't consider him a fool, sir. He is often more lucid than me. Okay, you both can't explain why you're here. Tell me more about your brother. At least you both have the same difficulty explaining what you're doing and for what reason. But is that not a common problem for all mortals? What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He's always been the more gentle of us. That's it? That's all you can tell me about him? For the time being, true kindness is the most valuable quality, my good sir. Okay, is this all we're going to get about Can him? you tell me anything about this district? As you like asking questions so much, would you allow me to ask you one first? Oh, Please. sure. Be my guest. Do you like this city? Uh, no, well, not in its current state. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I, I know if we it are wasn't, not living in the most peaceful of times. If it wasn't like it is currently. But I have learned yeah. to appreciate London's complexity. Yes, me too. This city tests us. It invites us to find ourselves, to discover our true nature scattered throughout its dark streets. But what if we don't like what we find? Do we ever know who we are? I wonder sometimes. Or maybe it is the journey to find out who we are that changes us. Okay, do you know Aloysius? What can you tell me about Aloysius Dawson? I've heard this is a man who has searched for his place in the world for a long time. I hope he found it. Okay, I think that's all we can get out of them. Oh, how long have you been waiting? How long Good have question. you been waiting for this man? Yeah. Sometimes I feel as though I've been waiting for him for ages. Perhaps so it vague. is my role in life to wait for him. Not a pleasant thought. It could be dangerous for you, waiting here all night. That's quite true. But what other choice do we have? We are waiting here until we finally go. Okay, how long specifically have you been standing here? <laughs> Jesus. Why are you still waiting for this person? What would be the point of going before meeting the man, as he's going to help us leave? Mm. Mr. Baker, I have met many strange people during my life, but you are definitely one of the strangers. Yeah. Really? I don't feel particularly odd or weird. All I want to do is leave. What's wrong with that? But you're just hanging around. Oh my god, what are you going to do now? Heracles, what are you going to do now? I don't know. Perhaps it's time to leave. Perhaps we should stay a little longer. How can I tell? They're and where so vague. Where exactly are you thinking of going? In a place where I will finally have that feeling. To be where I belong. The world has to be meaningless chaos to make such a heaven plausible. Okay. These guys are... I can't make any sense of them. Ooh, it's worth 4,000 XP. I could just eat them. Goodbye, That's tempting. Baker. I think you're waiting for me. Good evening, Mr. Baker. Hmm. Why do I always have feelings of deja vu when I talk to you? Maybe you're waiting for me. Do you think? 
They're waiting for a man to help them leave. They've been waiting for ages. Maybe... Maybe it's me they're waiting for. Maybe I'm supposed to eat them. Or maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Let's just have a little snack, shall we? So in the end, was it you we were waiting for? Death was our destination. I think so. I think it was me you were waiting for. Or maybe I'm reaching a little bit with that. But I mean, who else are they waiting for, you know? Now, yeah, where's the brother? Where is the brother? There he is. Agamemnon. Hello again, Dr. Reed. Oh, they're worth so much. Hello. I think they are waiting for me. They're just like a delicious chunk of XP just when I need it. Yes, come with me, Ag Agamemnon. What a what a name. What a mouthful of a name. Agamemnon. I mean, I don't know. They could be waiting for something else, but... They're not going anywhere, so... I might as well help them... find their purpose? Here we go. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, delicious. XP. This makes no sense. It no doesn't. sense at all. I should have told my brother to go sooner. Oh, I have so much XP now. I don't know if that was what they were waiting for or not. It's just really satisfying. such a beautiful like just the way his body is at the end of the stairs and the beautiful arch and the lamplight beautiful picture it's a work of art created by me mm. well I really hope they weren't waiting for someone else am I supposed to go is this going to lead me into it what the hell is that noise? Wait a minute. What's happening when I stand over here? That sounds like a trap or something. <gasps> These go down. Is this a puzzle? What? Oh, I hope it wasn't this guy they were waiting for. <laughs> Perhaps London will survive the epidemic, but I see terrible trials awaiting in the future. Who are you? It's locked, all right. Who are you? Jonathan Reed. At last we meet. The cards warned me you would visit tonight. I beg your pardon, sir. Do I know you? Of course you do. Our mutual friend, Dr. Swansea, can't speak highly enough of you. My name is Usher. Usher Talltree. You are the leader of the Brotherhood, are you not? Primate oh. of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole, to be precise. Really? I'm really glad we met tonight. I love it when the cards tell me a truth. The cards told you to expect me? Yes, they can tell me everything. They told me that you are a new Ekon who relishes his blood diet. Hmm. <laughs> I do. Um, 
to ask him, uh, how do you know the lives I took? How do you measure the amount of blood on my hands? I told you. The cards always tell the truth. Well, most of the time. Is it possible to tell me my future? A vampire's fate is much more delicate to read, Doctor. But I can try. Mm. Let's All right. Give it a go. Let me Why hear not? it. Your heart will bleed back all the blood you drank, but it will not put out the fire your treachery has lit. Mm. Fair enough. Hey, about the Brotherhood. May I ask you about the Brotherhood? Of course. But I must warn you that there are some subjects we consider taboo, in spite of our fondness and acceptance of your kind. Okay, rivalry with Guard of Prewin. Yeah, do they know do they work I together know or anything? There is no love lost between the Guard of Prewin and the Brotherhood. What caused this rift? It was 1801. The Brotherhood was stronger then, a strength that made them hungry for ever greater power. An argument divided them, and the wound never healed. What was the nature of the disagreement? The problem was that both sides considered themselves the legitimate heirs of the original Brotherhood. We divide up the books, the relics, not always fairly or with consideration. Okay, who founded... who founded the Brotherhood? That's precisely the kind of question I cannot answer. It is delicate and may uh -huh. reveal some of our secret traditions. So you're not just a club okay. of academics and scholars? Once upon a time, very long ago, the Brotherhood did more than simply study the vampires. They took actions to eliminate the more ferocious and corrupted. Mm, but they don't anymore. But the Guard of Prewen do. Um, okay, what else can I ask him? Could you read cards for me? We've already done can that. Can you read the cards for me? Are you sure you want to know what they will reveal? Yes, I am. It will cost you 150 shillings. Oh, yeah, sure. Here is the money. The snake. A bitter woman, smiling as she pours poison in your cup. A shaming betrayal. Hate. Oh, Venus Crossley. <gasps> the wife of my, my old friend? Poison in my cup. Huh. Tell me about yourself. What do you do here? Besides turning cards in the middle of the night. I'm for most a charlatan. For a few, I'm a vampire. And for you, I'm the primate of St. Paul's Stole. So he is a vampire? Some no, believe not. you to be a vampire. Who? The guard of Prewen, who else? Yeah. For a time, they sent spies to observe my activities. And they even broke into my home to gather proof. Did they steal anything? Sounds from like them. A personal notebook. They quickly took to their headquarters. All they had to do is to look at me. I'm aging. What better and definite proof that I'm not an immortal? Do you want your notebook back? If you ever find it, I'd be glad to have it back, of course. I do ask one thing, okay. though. Do not read it, Jonathan. Some secrets are not meant to be revealed. Oh man, you even can't. To immortals. You can't say, like, go bring me back my notebook, but you can't read it. I'm definitely going to read it now. For how long have you been a primate? It was 15 years last year. What do you make of Dr. Swansea? Edgar is a brilliant and dedicated man. A man of his time. Sometimes a little muddled, but always looking for new paths and new concepts. Mm hmm. Get more hints for him. Um, tell me about the neighborhood. What can you tell me about the neighborhood? I really don't know. I don't often go outside. And when I do, it's usually to quite distant destinations. So you see nothing in the stars for me. You're a poor fortune teller then. Oh, I can tell you many things. But they will only concern you, not the city. For example, I know that you offered your sister the final rest she asked for. Hmm. Do the cards speak of my Mary? No. It's the burning aura of guilt that precedes you everywhere you go. 
read my fortune. You have been just chosen, did. Jonathan. I see on you the mark of a strong being, so powerful it needn't even reveal its strength. Huh. Okay. Um, do you know Aloysius? Is there anything you could tell me about Aloysius Dawson? Aloysius Dawson. Yes, of course. We met on several occasions. With time, he got deeper and deeper into the occult. He's not the only one. It's been quite the fashion for several decades. The Golden Dawn, for instance, is just one example. True. Aloysius was a member of the Golden Dawn until 1900. Then his thirst for dark knowledge grew. I'm talking forbidden texts. Readings which blackened his heart. Interesting, interesting. Okay. Um... How did you learn about Mary? How did you learn about Mary? And spare me the hocus pocus parlor tricks. The truth, now! Swansea told me. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. His task is to observe and gather information about vampires. He had to tell me about Mary. Hmm. If only I could have convinced her. Yeah, I wish she could have been my. She could have survived friend. as a vampire. If only she had given me a chance to explain. Yeah. If only I could have found the words. Not all vampires accept their new condition. Since suicide is impossible, you have to find a way to get someone else to relieve the pain. I could have saved her. No, Jonathan. Okay, that's, I think, everything we can talk to him about for now. Goodbye, sir. Until we meet again. I rarely wander. Yet it amuses me to converse with your kind. Perhaps London will survive huh. the epidemic. But I see terrible Usher Tolltree. waiting in the future. Oh yeah, can I steal what he's writing? Can I steal this? Time of lost knowledge. Vampires are dangerous, deadly, vicious sometimes. This is a fact and I won't deny it. And that's precisely why we must understand what they are, sometimes who they are, in order to achieve a better mutual understanding. Do you remember the interview with Titus Flavius Josephus, conducted by one of us in 1548, when he finally encountered the creature in Spain? Do you remember how each of the very carefully chosen words expressed by this vampire warmed our heart each time we read them? For they were all extraordinary windows to the past of which we have only had glimpses. Well, Titus Flavius Josephus is no more since the Vatican's hunters destroyed him a few weeks ago and with him vanishes unearthed treasures of knowledge about the pillars of our civilization. This is a crime probably as heartbreaking as the killing of an innocent life by a vampire. This is exactly why the path of the Guard of Prewin is as criminal as it is barren, for each time they successfully conduct one of their methodical hunts on the old vampires of England, instead of carefully and respectfully approaching them, they destroy a part of our common roots with the immortals. They wipe an opportunity. The concept of great hunt is a crime for it blindly kills words and thoughts. Hmm, from Drinking at the Fountain of Knowledge by Usher Talltree. Oh, wow. Hmm. So they kind of want to preserve the knowledge that these old vampires have, it seems like. like I suppose it's kind of interesting, isn't it? Being able to talk to people who were alive hundreds of years ago. I don't know what these um, pressure plates are for. Okay, I'm going to end the episode here. We investigated this kind of new area of the West End and we're kind of finding out a little bit more about what other people think of Aloysius Dawson, which I think should probably help like in the decision of, you know, whether or not we're going to turn him. And yeah. Oh man, those two brothers who were waiting for someone. I've no idea what that was about, but um, I feel like they could have definitely been waiting for me. And it was just like a nice tasty snack they're waiting for me. So 8,000 XP, I'll take it. I'll take it. And what else do we do this episode? Oh, we found the second letter from my father in the park. And then the third clue from my father is somewhere in the hospital. So we're going to have to go look for that. Yeah. So next episode, we'll pick up here going into the mansion of Aloysius Dawson. And yeah, we'll figure out whether or not we're going to turn him and what to do about that situation. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.